It is a big idea. A new world order. Your world is not what it seems. Alex Hansery. Outside the Box. Good evening. It is January 21st, 2010. I'm your host, Alex Hansery, with you live over the course of the next hour. We're going to be taking phone calls tonight, 503-288-4442. Just as a reminder, continuing from last week, this is the second to last live show of the quarter. As I mentioned last week, PCM is facing enormous financial problems at this time that is requiring them to cut both hours of operation and staff. It is at this time that I will also announce that a person that was very close to me that I love very much at one time has been let go from PCM after 10 years of service. I don't know what the future of Access TV is at this point. I do know that the franchise agreement is up for renewal at the end of the year. That means certain factors, certain forces of corporate darkness could interfere with your ability to see alternative shows like this in the near future. But this is nothing that should come as a surprise to any of you. I have been warning you and others and staff for many, many years that the economic problems that we're facing are very much going to hit close to home in many ways that most people, even some of you may be watching right now, don't fully comprehend or understand. We are going off the script tonight, and we are just going to be taking phone calls basically over the course of the next hour. There are some other things we're going to be talking about. I will talk about Haiti. I will talk about Obama and the Council of Governors and FEMA, 10 different districts. We'll talk about a lot of different things. We'll continue as long as we have this facility to use our voice as our weapon of choice because we are facing great darkness. You take a look at where we were 10 years ago and you take a look at where we are now. A lot of people are in denial about this stuff anymore. They simply feel hopeless. They simply feel uh, this sense of desperation. They don't know what to do. One of the biggest problems is the lack of people being able to believe in themselves, their own power, their own ability to affect real change, be it on the national or global scene, or on the local, independent, their own lives way. And until we get back that own power, our own power, until we get back that uh, feeling of being confident in our actions, uh, we're not going anywhere. You are going to be facing a nightmarish future unless you attempt, at least on some level, in the very near future, to be responsible for the direction that your life is going in. Because this system is doing exactly what it's supposed to do. It's not broken. It's here to consume you. It's here to warp your consciousness, your own sense of harmony or sense of inner peace within. Why do you think so many things are happening to us right now in this particular moment in time? So what are we seeing? We're seeing the federalization of the police across the board. Take a look at RAND, the RAND Corporation. They have a new study out talking about how this would help America with this uh, particular plan that they've got going on. You've got guys that are working for RAND that used to work for the Carlisle Group. You take a look at what they're planning for in the very near future. A lot of you people out there getting very pissed off when you don't have a job coming back to you or something of that nature. And so you need to get prepared physically, spiritually, emotionally, psychologically. The future is now right here. It's not out there. It's right here. And in this year, 2010, you're going to see a lot of stuff. But where will you be in the end when the smoke clears? A lot of it is... Uh, determines on your actions, on how you walk from this point on. And we've got to be mindful about ourselves, our future. Uh, and we've also got to learn to live in the now and understand they're trying to rob us of a sense of harmony, a sense of peace. You take a look at TV today, outside of programs like this, so many different ways are trying to get you to war with your fellow brother and sister, your mother, your father, your cousins, uh, people from different uh, uh, religious belief systems. 
so many different ways we are turned against one another in this era of time that we live in. And if we're going to experience any real sense of peace or harmony in our lives, we're going to have to create it in our own little world first and try to create it in the external world by not waiting for it to happen to us or for some politician to bring us a peaceful world. We've got to do certain things. We've got to walk mindfully through our reality. And what that means to me means quite a bit different, something very different than what most people believe. That think that spirituality and becoming enlightened means putting your head in the sand and hoping all this blows over while women and children continue to get raped and abducted in the Middle East, while bombs run by unmanned aerial drones uh, continue to rain upon innocent civilians in the Middle East. As long as these things happen and we say nothing, we're literally digging our own grave. Because mark my words, many of the horrors that have happened to people in the third world, people elsewhere outside the United States, the way that we're going, the way that this country is going right now, printing money out of thin, thin air, building up a police state, targeting people like me, saying that we're domestic uh, insurgents, terrorists, because we believe differently than the government. And if you don't think this stuff is going on, you've got your head up your you-know-what, because it is happening. And the whole police state wasn't established for Al-Qaeda, it was established for you. When everything implodes and crime begins to rise, the reason they set all this up is to control you, but it's global. It's not just about America. It's not just about the European Union. It's not just about Russia. It's not just about China. I mean, these, these different superpower states that you think are so very different have a lot more in common than you think. And so in this second to last live show, we're gonna take phone calls at 503 288 4442. We'll be back next week and we'll do this again. Phone calls for the entire show. Now, there is some news that uh, we will cover. And before we get to that first phone call, let's bring up the first graphic. Now, uh, I don't even have a script with me, but I'm pretty much going to kind of explain to you what you're seeing. First of all, some brief news that's hopefully not too intense for some of you. Major uh, eclipse the other day, which actually magnified uh, the uh, new solar activity that uh, we are now seeing at this time. Now, the sun has been in an extended state of solar minimum for quite some time, but uh, that began to change in December 2009, and so now we're getting a lot of activity. And if you research sunspot cycles, maximum, uh, solar maximum, things of that nature, you will find links to uh, times where there's more earthquakes on the planet. So if we go to the next slide, you're going to see another article here from NOAA. NOAA scientists predict solar flares. You go to the next one. 